Hi folks, Anders here. Um, I'm going to manage to turn the brightness on this a bit. Nope, wrong way. She's up. There we are. Right. So, um, thought I'd do a bit of a haul video for you today. As you can see, I'm in a different place to where I normally am filming and there's a reason behind this. For one, it's night time and and I'm doing a lot of filming in my day, but also this is my son's bedroom. My son doesn't live at home, he's at university, he comes back for Christmas and holidays and stuff like that, um, but this is still his room, um, although at the moment it's a bit chaotic. Let's show you around, and you can see. Um, it's a bit of a mess. There is an old CRT telly, there are one, two, three, four computer monitors, lots of games, cupboards, um, old cuddly toys which are my daughter's and some Pokemon cards but yeah it's it's not the, the nicest of spaces and he's coming home at Christmas now he doesn't watch my YouTube channel um, so what I'm planning to do is turn this into a gaming room there's two monitors here which are those Iliama ones which I picked up this morning in a previous video it cost me 15 pounds both which was amazing which was really cool um, yeah, and the plan is big desk, dual or triple monitor display, CRT in the corner for playing retro consoles on, and so on and so forth. And it will look really, really good, but in the meantime, it needs to be gutted and stuff like that. So, um, so I've got two monitors, I'm getting him a Corsair RGB mouse mat, I'm getting a chair tomorrow because at the moment I'm currently sat on the world's tiniest stool, which is not the most comfortable, but it's going to look great and I can't wait to show it him when he comes back home at Christmas. Anywho, in the future I probably will do a lot more videos in here because they turn it into the game's room. But today has been an adventure and there's a box back in here and there is some stuff here and some stuff here um, and I have coffee here. So what happened today? This morning I went um, to pick up two monitors and then I went to pick up daughter and we went out, I went to the dentist, got my tooth fixed um, and we went out shopping, we went to local town, um, tried a new charity shop that I've never been to before and I was really really happy, they had absolute tons of PS2 um, 360 games or three for a pound um, I got loads. Some are to flip and some are to keep. But the ones that we got, um, yeah, so this is the first charity shop we went to. No, sorry, I tell a lie. The first charity shop I went to had some PS3 uh, games. Where are they? So one charity shop had some PS3 games, they were a pound each and we got they're both the essentials, one best of PS3, uh, we got Little Big Planet 1 and we got Mod Nation Racers. Uh, I'd say pound each. Um, don't know whether to flip them, don't know if they're worth anything at all, PS3 stuff, and because it's first party exclusives, maybe worth something, but they were cool. So they were a pound each, I was pleased with that. Um, second charity shop I went to, we picked up. Oh, this, I haven't tried it or anything yet, it just looked naff and terrible and cheesy. And we got Spider-Man DVD Blast. Uh, it's a DVD game, it's 15 to adult, two or more players. Literally just comes with the disc and some really terrible instructions. And it's hosted by um, Bruce Campbell. If you don't know who Bruce Campbell is, he is from uh, Evil Dead. Um, it just looks terrible. Um, I figure, why not? We'll have a play of that at some point. It was 50p, so absolute bargain. Next charity shop I went to it isn't computer game related, but it is photography related. Because, you know, I'm a photographer too. Um, and I got something very, very cool. Um, I got this, which was £1.75 for another charity shop. Um, it's a cutting block. I know, it's naff. 
but it's brand new. Um, Joseph Joseph Photo Deluxe. I don't know. Our old cutting map, cutting board in the kitchen was looking a bit shabby and old anyway. And it's it's just so geeky and cool. So I, I absolutely adore that. I don't know whether to keep it as <laughs> something else. But it was just cool. I, I really impressed. So yeah. So I got that. That was really happy and good. And then. Yeah, then we got to the charity shop where everything was free for a pound and I picked up, let's see the ones that I picked up from there, there a lot. So we got 360, loads of 360, absolutely loads. And I know that most of these are probably not worth anything at all, but they were cool. So I got them. So we got, wow, we did get a lot of free, it was a lot of 360 stuff. So I've got it stuck there, there is up here, you can see. And we got, no, that's a Wii game, let's move that away. Uh, yes, we got all of those titles, which I don't know if you can see properly. So we got, I'll go through, we got Bullet Storm. Let's turn it out a bit. Bullet Storm Epic Edition. Uh, with Gears of War B to invitation included, I doubt it very much. Okay. Disc and manual, which is cool. Um, Plague Blitzstorm, ages ago, I think it's alright. We got Splinter Cell Conviction. Don't love a glare from that, it's a bit glary. I might try and try. I'm trying out the LED light on here. Again, box manuals. Uh, I was a bit confused because it said like 30 pence in each, but yeah, it said they were free for a pound. But yeah, we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. We got Modern, now Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. We got Modern Warfare 3, that's the case. Well, we got Space Marine Elite Armor Pack. Don't know if it's worth anything or not. We got Smackdown vs Raw. We got Dungeon Siege 3, which I'm quite looking forward to playing because it's more of my style of game. We got Lost Planet 2, which is quite neat. No manual on that one. We got Modern Warfare 2. We got Halo 3, we got Call of Duty Black Ops, and that was all the 360 stuff. But they were free for a pound, so all of these cost. Here you go, one. So one pound, two, three pounds, and then, yeah, we got for Wii, we got Sports Island. Um, yeah, so one, two, three, four pounds for all of those, and then they had. Some PS2, PS3 games. Um, <coughs> they did have a Wii. They wanted fifty pound for a Wii console, original Wii console with Wii Fit. Um, loads of games, there were some decent games. There was like Wii Sports and stuff like that, which were always good to flip. But I asked if it'd sell the game separately. They said no, which was a shame. So that was the only Wii game that I got, um, which is probably not even worth thirty p. But hey, me put the pile. Um, but PS2 stuff, we got Sonic Heroes, which is an absolute classic. We got Grand Turismo 5 for PS3, which is the Academy Edition. Um, I don't know what the difference is, I think. Okay, so you get all of those little contents. Oh, basically it's all the stuff over the DLC and stuff as well. So that's cool. Um, got Need for Speed Carbon, which I know they always flip quite well. Need for Speeds, and they are good games as well. I like the Need for Speed ones. Yeah, um, and we got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's Platinum Edition, which is fair enough. And Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness, which is probably the worst Tomb Raider game ever made. But it was, you know, free for a pound. So yeah, so we paid, I think, six quid. And we got that whacking great pile. Which I am super, super pleased with. Yeah, so. On to the next charity shop so that we went to. Uh, one had got a free for a pound on all of their media, and I picked up nothing amazingly good, but some games that I fancied playing just because. So we got the new-ish Pokemon movie, not the Ryan Reynolds one, um, the Detective Pikachu one. This is the last one. It's um, it's a terrible one. I don't really like it, but it's sealed and it was in a free for a pound. That's trades in at two quid, so I'm quizzing for that already, which is awesome. Um, and it's still sealed. I got Crane Simulator because I don't even know. Um, there you go, you read. 
Yeah, um, I mean the specs of it, what's it need? It needs an XP, 2.4 gigahertz, 512 mega RAM, and a raid on 9800 Pro with 120 mega RAM. Okay, I think I'm going to do a gaming video for that. And we've got Euro Truck Simulator Pick Up, Drive, and Deliver. They were free for a pound. Because I figure I'm going to do some game stuff on this channel as well, why not? So yeah, that was quick for all three of those, which was awesome. And the final charity shop. Um, oh no, no, sorry, not the final charity shop. I get a lot today. Uh, they were four for a pound on all of their media. They didn't have much exciting particularly, but I did get for PlayStation 2, I got King Kong, which is actually quite a decent game. An average film. A player's man, player's Kong. Yeah, but it's boxed stuff like that. We got WRC Extreme 2, which is just for this, sadly. No manual. Um, but I figured, why not? It's a PS2 game. I mean, they really hadn't got much, and I just fancied some more PS2 games because, you know, word at 25p each. I uh, did get. I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan anyway, so I was really pleased with this one. And we got Creating Lord of the Rings. Um, the story of the soundtrack behind it by Howard Shaw. Um, so I'll watch that at some point. Um, yeah. And we got Doom 3 for PC, which was 25 pence again. Uh, it's a CD based edition. So yeah, so folks cost four for a pound, which was again quite a good deal. Uh, from the one or the charity shop that I went to, um, they hadn't got any gaming stuff I had. Um, and I got. A really really old Gravis Gamepad Pro USB boxed for PC. Um, it's a USB edition obviously so yeah. Yeah. it looks kind of like a PlayStation 1 first gen one. You can get an extra little stick that screws in. I don't think it's in the box. Oh no it is okay. It's never been used as well. Um, so it's got a little joysticky thing as well. It's got the driver CD. Wow. But it was boxed. It was £1.50. Um, and I figure it's going to be terrible. I mean, I use the 360 um, controller for PC and wired one, which is awesome. But yeah, 150 for that. And I thought, you know, it's a bit of gaming history. They're old. I mean, it's like designed for. What's it designed for? Uh, plug and play for immediate gaming. No calibration needed. Software included for Mac OS 8 users. Where is this for Mac? Oh no, works with Mac, works with Windows 98 or higher. Wow, how old is this? Yeah, well, it was originally four pound apparently. Okay. Uh, copyright 1998. Wow, so that is 20 years old. Yeah, 20 years old. What, 21 years old? Wow, okay. Um, I didn't even realise USB had been around that long, but hey. Uh, that'll be fun to play with. Why not? Right, and what else did we pick up from the final charity shop, which is the one that I always go to to get cool stuff. It's where I got all of the memory cards that I flipped and so on and so forth. I didn't have a huge amount in there. Um, Today, but I've not, not had anything really, really good since the epic, epic trek to there. But they've got some decent stuff. Um, and yeah, I went in there today and they've got some stuff for daughter. She had some bits and pieces. I got uh, another one of those, which I've done a separate review of, which was 99p, which is like a camera clip. Mine got broke on my camera bag, it got trapped in the car door, so I had a holiday at the weekend. So I bought another for 99p, you get like five o'clock and lens caps and stuff in it as well. So that was good. Um, I got in the magazine section, which I thought looked quite nice. Um, and again, Lord of the Rings related. I got Return to Middle Earth, Empire Classics. This was, what is this from? Um, I don't know. No, I don't know. Oh, issue 3, 2 and T18, so it's only from last year. Um, but it's all revisited stuff about Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films. And you know, I, I really like them films. And it's got some nice stuff in there, some nice interviews and pictures and things. Um, so it'll go on the Lord of the Rings shelf. It's cool. Uh, from there, I also got this for 99p, which I'm super hyped for. Um, I've seen them in the shops for about £8, I think, something ridiculous, which I wouldn't pay. But that is a PlayStation um, 4. Is that PS4 one? I don't know. It's an official licensed product, it's uh, stressful, let's just open it for you. Um, 
It's just a little stress toy of a PlayStation controller. Squish, squish, squish. It is a, oh no, it's a DualShock 3. Okay, there you go. But it was 99p and it was kind of cute and I figure, hey, it's gaming related, so why not? Um, yeah. And what else did I get from it? I got a mouse mat. Um, they have some horrible emoji based ones which daughter wanted. And I just wanted a better mouse mat, but then I've just bought another one after this anyway, so yeah, but um, it's 99p and this mouse mat is entitled Forest River with stones and grass at night. And it's that. It's not a massive one, but it's one of the nice real mouse mats. It's got a nice print to it, it's kind of neutral. Um, it's a pound, you can't get a mouse mat for a pound. Are decent. And finally I got, which I haven't opened yet, um, nearly missed out on this one. This is a flexible tablet holder with clamp. Um, this was £1.49 and again I haven't opened it yet so I don't know if it's any good or if it's all in here. Uh, I do have a bigger one, which is right next to me actually, but let's just destroy the box. Not sure about my LED light above the camera, I'm going to have to move it. So, it comes with um, instructions. So it's basically just a, oh it's just like a ball clamp and a bendy boy like this. Okay, and so you will literally just clamp like so. That's a pretty solid clamp. And clamp that onto that bendy boy, hang on. Oh, no, it's, uh, oh, it's pretty straightforward actually. Uh, cool. And that. So, um, basically, just as that. Yeah, it just clamps on, it's got a clamp on there. Um, uh, my tablet's in the other room, and I really can't be bothered to go and fetch it unless there's one. Hang on. Here we are, we've got my old, very old Nook HDX tablet, um, so we can clamp that into it. And it's not the most sturdy thing. It's not actually the most sturdy thing at all. Um, yeah, let's bring you around. Uh, there we go. Clamp. I mean, it was 150. I'm not going to be using a tablet if I just want an extra. You thought it could be alright actually. Um, it was 150, you know, you can't really complain. It's not definitely not as sturdy as the other one that I have, but and I was a bit dubious about it because you know it fits into a tiny thing, whereas my other one is um, that one, which is a big chunker. That's my other tablet stand one, which is a lot, lot more, more heavy duty, which needs to be done. So yeah, um that is all I picked up today, I think. Daughter got some vinyl decal stickers, which were quite cool. Uh, no, don't think I've got anything else exciting. But yeah, I was really pleased with the haul today. Lots of cool stuff, not a huge amount spent. Um, like six pounds on all of them. A couple of quid on all of these ones. Let's move that the way up there. Um, I did pick up this the other day. Um, which was five pounds. Um, oddly enough, uh, from the same charity shop that I got the cutting board from. Uh, it's a Sony Pocket Edition e-reader. Um, it's a five out. I think they trade in for about ten quid, but I wanted a little e-reader for myself, and it supports decent formats and stuff as well. So that was quite cool. Um, I also got the other day this from the same charity shop. I got a Bamboo Fun uh, pen and touch Wacom tablet. It was seven pound fifty, which is cheaper than second hand price for it anyway, it's not really worth trading in but that's actually a really really nice tablet and I can't wait to actually play it um, and it's going to replace my old Bamboo One um, this has done good for a few years but it's not the greatest whereas this one is the newer improved version and it's got 2048 pressure sensitivity whereas this has only got 512 so yeah um, and then I've also got a professional recording camera mic stand Thing as well and that's to go onto the bench which you are currently on so this room yeah let's like say it's gonna be turned into a proper little gaming room and I'm really looking forward to doing it I'm gonna put some natural cupboard doors on the cupboards over here so that's a lot more tidier 
sort out all the console stuff because there's PS3 stuff, there's Wii stuff and try and tidy up. We've got the Corsair K95 keyboard up there which I'll actually be using as a main keyboard. Just need a mouse as well. So I'm possibly going to go for a razor and one for it. And yeah, it's um, it's going to be a really, really cool little space. I mean, at the moment, like I said, it's not, it's not the greatest. It's a mess. But the plan is, is that monitor and the one behind it, the two Ilyama ones, uh, will have a triple monitor display with the NEC because I'm keeping that one. Uh, that is an amazing monitor. That's my big NEC, 24 inch. It is. 1280p res, um, it's really really good for, um, yeah, right, this is my main monitor, but it's massive and it is very heavy, whereas the Alarma one's quite lightweight. The LG one that's there um, is on its way out because it's got a line down the middle of it anyway, so it's not so great. So that one will be rehomed, repurposed, got rid of, I don't know yet. Um, and I want to try and get the CRT in the corner there on top of a little stand. I might put it on top of the printer. Um, so we've got the CRT hooked up for gaming because we've got the PS2, we've got the original Wii, we've got GameCube, we've got the original 360, well we've got the Xbox 360 which is HDMI, we've got the Xbox. So I have all of the gaming stuff all set up and it should look awesome. Get some shelves up along here as well. Um, so we can put all the games on and along this wall as well. So it'll look like a proper, proper little gaming room um, for when the sun comes in. And for me to do YouTube stuff in as well. Put you that down. So yeah, um, but that was today's haul. But I said we got some really, really, really cool games. Um, the actual full pile of games is here. That was today's pickups, and all of that was under 10 quid, which is awesome. So, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, I hope you're going to follow me on this journey of creating new stuff and new adventures. Um, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, I've got this, which cost a pound a week as well, which is a little Wi-Fi camera. Um, yeah, this is going to look really, really cool when it's all kitted out. So I'll keep you updated on some videos for it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.